Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadow the Born, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update where today we're going to be sharing with you Blackpool Pleasure Beach news and today, well yesterday, they announced that they're going to plan to reopen on July 4th and they've announced on their website that they've put the measures in place. Now I am going to put the website link in the description down below so you can read it for yourself. Uh, but I'm going to read to you all the measures that they've announced on the website and also what they plan to do. So, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question for our subscriber special to celebrate 2,000 subscribers. And for now guys, let's get into another video. So. Let's check out all of the measures in place by Blackpool Pleasure Beach on the website. So, according to Blackpool Pleasure Beach website, uh, there are four main uh, before you visit. Uh, so, they say please book in advance online to avoid disappointment and use our new e-ticket system, uh, allowing you to enter the park as soon as you arrive. Please do not plan to visit us should you have any symptoms associated with the COVID-19. Uh, the most common symptoms of recent onset of new continuous cough or high temperature over 38 degrees Celsius or a loss of or change in normal sense of taste or smell. So, uh, anosmia. Uh, so, they also say in conjunction with that, uh, we may also ask that you have your temperature checked at the park entrance. Now, they also say to enable social distancing across the outdoor amusement park, we have capped the number of guests allowed on the park on a daily basis to give you a safe, enjoyable day out. And finally, for the safety of yourself, please, other guests and our team, please follow the new guidelines when planning and during your visit. So, you're probably thinking, what is the new e-ticket system? Well, how does it work? Once you've made your booking online, you will have to claim a barcode for each ticket once you've purchased. Each person in your group will need a bar containing an e-ticket uh, or coded e-ticket uh, to enter the park. And these can all be held on one phone, uh, for example, in your Apple wallet. Each individual's phone or printed off by yourself before you arrive. Please note Pleasure Beach passes will not be available to purchase whilst we operate under these new COVID-19 procedures. Um, the e-ticket will be the only type of ticket available to purchase, so they're only accepting these e-tickets. So there's no passes, no wristbands or anything like that, it is just e-tickets. So what they are doing to protect you. We've introduced a range of new frequent and enhanced deep cleaning measures across the park and our rising attractions so uh, that's pretty much what every park's doing to be honest they're introducing these um, new dehydration uh, not yet uh, these dehydrants uh, to uh, to deep clean the park and the attractions itself so uh, obviously operations will change uh, with how much they need to deep clean each attraction after it's been ridden on things like that so uh, that's something very interesting to keep an eye out for now, as well as that, uh, we also have um, hand sanitation facilities. Now, they provided new hand sanitation facilities. Please wash your hands with soap and water in one of our many facilities across the park and also use the hand sanitizer dispensers located around the park. Our teams around the park will be equipped with a range of appropriate PPE, personal protective equipment. The PPE is to protect our team members and our guests. Our entire Pleasure Beach team will be temperature tested each day. Now, what to expect on your visit? On arrival at the park throughout your day, look out for your ambassadors and follow their instructions. This team are here to help you answer any questions you may have and ensure all of your guests have a great visit. Our teams have received training and preparation for our reopening. All teams in all departments, including customer facing and behind the scenes, are temperature tested before commencing work each day. We've introduced social distancing measures and queue lines around the park. Please strictly observe these guidelines respecting other guests and follow the advice of our team at all times. That's a very important one. Now, of course, for those of you who've been to Alton Towers in the gardens uh, this week, this past weekend, um, or have seen the pictures of it, 
you'll know that they put these arrows in the queue lines in the toilet blocks so in the mutiny bay rides and of course probably in wickerman as well uh you know below all that massive fencing uh <laughs> You know, you're going to see those social distancing arrows, so you know what the distancing is in the queue lines and things like that. So, you know, you've got a, an idea then of how how far you need to keep from the people that are not part of your group uh, in the queue lines. So, a dedicated plan for each ride has been developed and implemented in order to enable social distancing between groups. This will vary according to each ride, so please follow the signage guidelines and instructors from our ride operators. To help us enable social distancing during your visit, the direction of travel along some of our walkways has been changed. Please follow the signage, and that's a very important one. One-way systems, they're very important. Some rides may require you to wear a face covering. Please bring, please, please, please bring a, a suitable face covering with you. We suggest you bring two. If you don't, face coverings will be available to buy at the Pleasure Beach. That's very, very important to mention. You can buy face coverings, but if you don't want to spend the money on face coverings at Pleasure Beach, then I suggest you bring your own, and they suggest you bring two, just in case. Uh, on some rides, it may be necessary for us to leave empty seats between guests. Please follow the guidelines on each individual ride, so probably things like the coasters, like Big One, Big Dipper, Icon, Grand National, all the coasters at the park will probably do that, all the rides at the park will probably do that as well. Um, Red Arrow Sky Force, it'd be interesting to see how they do that with the empty seats, but uh, I'm guessing they'll leave you know like the middle seats you know open and just do like around the clock type seating and leave the empty seats in the middle uh, just to stick to the rules and things like that so or they may do around the clock but leave a seat behind each empty so be interesting to see how they do Skyforce but most of the rides should have uh, on well some rides it should have uh, empty seats definitely uh, please be prepared to make contactless payments very important there as well uh, try and use cash as less as possible a new online food ordering system is being developed allowing guests to order a selection of food during their visit from their mobile phone which can be collected at a designated time and location our restaurants cafes and takeaway units will be open but please bear in mind many of these will operate in different ways to that which you've been used to additional outdoor seating has also been arranged in dedicated areas around the theme park our wide range of gift and souvenir shops will be open with adaptations to ensure social distancing. Guests can also visit our online shop and have items delivered to their home address. Some of our guests' experiences such as photograph opportunities with our characters have been modified or suspended to ensure social distancing is maintained. So unfortunately, there's a chance you may potentially not be able to meet Dora and Boots. Uh, however, you could do like a social distancing selfie if the part decides to do a social distancing selfie. Um, which would be nice, but I think it's very unlikely. Uh, for the safety and well-being of all our guests and staff, Blackpool Pleasure Beach has dedicated team of security officers patrolling the park at all times. Uh, we look forward to welcoming you soon. When you're here, please be patient, be kind, and have fun in capital letters please note these measures are constantly being reviewed in line with government and health authority guidelines please check our website and social media pages for updates so that is all the measures that they are putting in place when they when they're set to reopen blackpool pleasure beach now like i said before this park is apparently planning to open around july 4th that is what the time the merlin park is set to open uh, and I'm sure other parks will be set to open by the 4th of July as well. Uh, potentially later than that as well. So it's very interesting uh, with these guidelines. Obviously they're right. Obviously you've got to stick by them. Uh, like I said with the photograph opportunities. I'm sure they're going to get uh, postponed to when the measures get changed. And the lockdown and the social distancing gets eased again. And you'll be able to have your photograph opportunities. And your meet and greets with your characters uh, further down the years. But for now... At least there's measures in place for us to enjoy our days at the parks. Now, obviously, you guys are probably thinking, when am I going to the theme park next? Well, I don't know, to be honest. Um, obviously, I do want to go. Obviously, I want to enjoy it. But I want to enjoy it in a safe way. So I would rather wait because, because uh, uh, you know, admit it, all the new attractions that were set to open this year have been delayed till next year, pretty much. So, well, pretty much all of them. So... You know, it's better waiting until next year to do a theme park visit rather than, you know, risk it this year just to get one visit out of this year. 
uh, and not have a year break. It's, be it's better to wait off till next year, to be honest. So, uh, Halloween events, that may, you know, York Mace Hall Scream, if they're going ahead, you know, that may change. Uh, but, in terms of summer theme park visits, that probably won't happen now this year. Um, my, well, my dream plan this summer, if it wasn't for this virus, was to do Alton Towers. Um, in fact, the plan was to do Alton Towers in March. So, you know, that was flown completely out the window. Um, Flamingo Land, that was a good plan this summer uh, to do the 10 Looper, but that's probably been delayed till next year now. Uh, Poulton's Park, obviously, they have the media day for Tornado Springs lined up in May, but that's been delayed till obviously next year. So, uh, that'll be next year's visit. Um, so, I think this year is sort of holding off really until 2021. Uh, which is fair enough, you know, I don't want to risk it on a, on one visit this year rather than, and, and, you know, instead I could just wait till next year when all the new attractions are open and, you know, the world's got a little bit better than it is now, um, you know, and I can just experience it better next year rather than risk it this year. So, you know, that's my plans personally, but in terms of Blackpool Pleasure Beach, obviously, you know, we don't know exactly when the Valhalla refurbishment's going to open in 2021. Is it going to be 2021? Are they going to delay it another year? Same with Chessington's Drop Tower, really. Are they going to delay it another year, maybe? Um, so the 2021 attractions kind of have a, a cloud over them in the UK. The, the Lego Movie World at Windsor, uh, the Valhalla refurbishment, and the Drop Tower at Chessington. Uh, they've got a bit of a cloud over them. So obviously the Valhalla refurbishment, I'm really looking forward to do it. And if they do have some kind of media day or opening day, you can bet your life I'll try my absolute best to get down there uh, for that. Uh, to give you guys footage and maybe some interviews as well. Obviously, we started doing more and more interviews here on the channel, non-theme park related as well as theme park related. So, obviously, interviews have become a big part of the channel now. So, obviously, try and get some interviews, hopefully, uh, on the day. Uh, but, um, for now at least, it's better to hold off. But, you know, I respect Blackpool Pleasure Beach for the restrictions they're putting in place. And if you are going out there on July the 4th uh, to the theme park, uh, have a safe day. Uh, make sure you stick to the rules. It's very very important you stick to the rules um, Because they're there for a reason. They're there for a reason. So uh, thank you very much guys for watching this newsroom update Please like comment subscribe and for now guys. My name is Coast Chow. Kit on the Coast Live And I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon. Take care guys. Have an awesome day